hi, we're here in beautiful downtown Edison, Washington to take a quick tour of Julie Pashka's exhibit, A Sip of Mysteries. Let's go inside. Where Charlie is here to greet us. A quick overview. The Sip is of Mysteries refers to the elixirs and potions Julie has designed, painted, made labels for these imaginary elixirs that will fix your ailments. She also has painted a set of the tarot characters. These are all done ink and gouache. More elixirs. So let's start out with the bottles of elixirs since we're right here. This is actually a beautiful piece. It's called The Time of the Tiger. Pick your elixir. This is a fun idea Julie had. These are just collected bottles of hers where she has made her labels. Here's something for memory. Here's something for vigor. We have stalwart. These are just filled with there's also a vial liquid. These are just filled with colored water. And anyone who purchases a work from this exhibit gets to select an elixir to take home with them. Uh, and so let's look at the actual paintings of the labels. Empathy Switchel. This, that, walk a mile, perhaps in somebody else's shoes. Here's the erasing balm with a reference to Macbeth's wife. Removes aches, pains, doubts, stains. Nothing is but what is not. And these amazingly painted ink and gouache. This is a friendship elixir. Here's about deciding, put your foot down with fortitude, with fortified decision juice. Here's our distillation of fortitude, the staying power, strong, steady, stalwart. This one is wonderful, crows seeking syrup. What is lost? Button, words, treasures, memories, purpose. Fleeting beauty drops. And it is so often. Vita Brevis. Here's the homeopathic bile liquid. Expunges bilious fits of temper. Uh, Julie said she had fun with this. She loves to draw monsters and she doesn't do them that often. It reminds me right here of the wild things. Morris Sendak. And this is a great one too. Ambiguity tonic. Could be, maybe not. One sip clarifies nothing. Delicious uncertainty. The emulsion of time. Each drop chronologically complexity with complexity, slowing or speeding time as desired. When boring things take so long and good things go too fast, just use your drops. And this is kind of a final piece of the whole, the third eye elixir series. We're gonna move on over to the tarot series. She has called this, I'm gonna go up here first, 
Arinka, her character, who has been present in the last four or five years in her work. Arinka Arcana, so this is the major arcana of the tarot. And we start with zero. The fool, the fool's journey. The magician, there's so much to see in these. You see how her, uh, it's an affinity symbol across her chest. The seeing glass ball. All the tools the magician can use for art. The high priestess. The empress is number three. Here she has an empress moth. With the corn. And the emperor. It's a motif of the Empress moth wing on the boot here. The Hierophant, which has to do, I believe, with the Greek prophet or seer, advisor, and she put the elephant in because of the way the word sounds. The lovers, number six. the chariot, the beautiful rabbit and birds, rather not birds, but the fish. Number eight is fortitude. The hermit, this is beautiful. She told me that the arms are wrapping around to show how you, it's a time to go inward and focus on yourself, and the lantern lights the inner journey. The Wheel of Fortune, gorgeous detail. Justice, certainly. Those look like RBG glasses. And the scale. The Hanging Man, here we are in suspension. I love those cats. I didn't notice those before. Uh, you can see something new every time. And death, often the end of something and it's the beginning of another thing. Temperance, so we have moderation and balance, the devil, quite a jolly guy, the tower, destruction, unless it's upside down, of course, the star, The moon, look at that pattern. The sun. Release, the great release. The trumpets, a flight or ascension of sort, and the world. Now she refers to this as these as the Arinka Arcana of the Parrot Tarot. Let's try to say that all together. These are the last two pieces that are part of this. They are the parrots. And of course the past, present, and future. And here we have a major piece called Arinka's Tale. You have so much in here. You have the animal, the peaceable kingdom, the 
the baby or the new life on top. The crocodile. The birds and butterflies, the geese, the seasons, the lilies. This piece is 27 inches high and 46 inches across, framed. And then we have transported another beautiful piece. And let's go across to the light here, and get a look at clearing. So Julie's talk is tomorrow, that's Saturday the 18th. And we are going to have a combination of chairs and blankets on the floor for people to sit. I hope you can make it. It's going to be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which is earlier than what we usually do. And this is exhibit is up through, I'm going to go around here very fast. It's up here through the end of the month. And we hope to see you tomorrow.